Okay everybody, today we're going to be setting up the Elgato Stream Deck. So when you first set up the device, um, or when you first plug in the device, you'll have a welcome thing here which will take you to the Elgato website. Um, I was just playing around with it for a few minutes to figure some things out. Um, so if you're using OBS, you're going to want to open OBS, just kind of restart the programs, um, and then everything will kind of pop up here. Because um, there is an OBS plugin right here, it's under Tools, it's just the Stream Deck plugin. It'll kind of pop up automatically after you... Um, open this program and then open OBS, but if you already had OBS opened when you started Stream Deck, you're just going to need to restart it. Um, so right here we have Game, so that's going to be one of my scenes, so we're going to choose that one there. Um, scene is going to be Scene, obviously, and that's the one we're on now, so if I switch it to Game, you see it goes black, come back, and we're back. So the mic mute, that is for Game Capture, so we're going to want to delete that and move over an OBS uh, mixer audio right here so we can choose um, what we want to do with that so it's going to change your audio um, devices I'm going to delete that it's not what we wanted um, and then let's see there should be a mute button somewhere for the mic um, I don't remember which one that is for when you're using OBS There is a mute toggle though. Let's see. I don't know if it was under source. New. Let's see. Game capture. Multimedia is not. Let's see. So there is a multimedia folder by default. It's this one down here on the bottom right. Um, so when you choose that, you can go um, to your, this is your computer volume by the way, so you can choose that, play, pause, skip, volume up, volume down, um, which is really cool. Um, you can have separate folders, so when you're gaming, you can do that kind of stuff. I'm just kind of deleting these because I don't normally use game capture. So I'm just going through and deleting, let's see if we can select multiple ones. We can't select multiple ones at one time. So I'm just going to delete that. Um, I'm going to move my scenes over here. I'm just kind of deleting the stuff they had by default. I'm going to put my folders up here. Um, I'm going to leave YouTube in the center there. So that YouTube key just opens up my subscriptions folder. You can set that with the URL down here. I'm not seeing how you do your mic. You can do a hotkey. Um, let's see. I'm not seeing one for the mic mute though. Unless, let's see, we are on the mic and aux, so let's see if we tap. Okay. So that is the mute key, that one um, mutes it, you just have to change, they don't, not real clear on that. Um, now as far as the logos are concerned, if you click um, right here, if you right click right here, you can set from a file you already have. The cool thing is you can also go to create new icon and it takes you to the Elgato website where you can compose them here, but they also have a bunch of um, pre-configured ones down here that you can download. So let's see, we want the mic mute, well, that one right here looks good. You can resize it and all that kind of stuff. So then you just save thumbnail, saves it to the downloads. You go back to your window here, right click here, set from file, and there you have your mute key. So that is pretty cool um, how you can do all that. Like I said, you can push that here and you get your media keys so this can be used for other stuff other than gaming you can set hot keys on here for editing you can set um, all kinds of different keys for different you know system commands twitch uh, OBS game capture all that kind of stuff for selecting your scenes while you're in the game um, so while you have another window open you can just be switching back and forth between your scenes and it also highlights on here um, you can see well you can't see it because it's gonna switch the scene but when I do it, it does change which key is uh, 
highlighted on here, so the brightness of the key changes, so you can tell what scene you're in. The mic mute key changes, so you can see I made it dim right here, so if I mute it, it will um, switch the brightness of that, so you can tell whether you have mute on or off. So that's a nice feature. You can tell whether you're muted or not, or whether what scene you're on without having to go to OBS and check. So this has been Colin with iOperReviews.com. Oops, sorry, I don't know why I just did that. This has been Colin with Tagout. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a great day.